How fun was the arcade during 80 and 90? It was pretty fun. Not gonna lie. The best was when someone had a birthday party at an arcade, and it was free play for X hours. Pizza. Drinks. That was the best. At ours they would just hand you a fist full of tokens. When you ran out. Bam. Another fist full of tokens. Centipede was my jam. I'd get that ball rolling. Fun. We never had tokens. We used quarters. You'd save up $10 or $20 for the weekend and hang out. Meet friends. Meet girls. See arranged fights. Etc. Games were either a quarter or 50 cents. Only the rich kids played the 50 cent games though. Lol. It sucked when you ran out of money. So you'd play it safe with the 25 cent games. Friday nights were the best, because of it being the end of the school week and that's usually when the fights happened. You know. I'll fudge you up at the arcade after school. Friday night at the arcade. Exclamation mark. You'd better fucking be there. In the 80s it was incredible. The graphics were far beyond the home consoles. Driving or flying games had more interesting controls than a stick with one button. You felt like you had more at stake each game. There's no respawning. No buying better weapons. You played until you died three times then it cost another quarter. Think how differently you'd play Call of Duty if you only got to respawn twice. That feeling of finding a quarter in the return slot, and the shame of running out of money and discreetly checking all the games. All my friend and I were so broke, and so embarrassed that we were. We never had enough money to stay more than a half hour ish. I remember feeling like the guys running the arcade were wanting us to take our poor selves right on out the door. It was the fucking greatest. I moved to where I live now, based on the fact they had a Sega World Arcade in 2001. Now gone. Sadly. Back in the 90s you could spend all day there. Winner stays on Street Fighter. 4 player Daytona. 8 player at the Trocadero. Then old school things like Pac-Man and Space Invaders being hella cheap. 10p would get you 10 lives sort of thing. My favorite was a Sega driving game. F355 Challenge. I had it on Dreamcast. So I could practice. But the arcade was a proper car and sit down thing. With 3 pedals. A gated shifter and 3 screens for that immersive feeling. It also gave you a printout at the end. So you could see how well you'd done compared to last week. I've never heard of games giving you printouts at the end. That's really cool. Aladdin's castle was a big hangout for kids at the mall. Your parents would drop you off at a mall, and you'd spend hours, almost all day playing with your friends. We also had an Aladdin's castle. My dad and I would go there all the time, when he was single. It was an awesome time, that I still remember 20 years later. Teaming up on Time Crisis arcade shooters was like the best ever. Yes. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. That and House of the Dead. I would even have random kids team up with you for a couple games and y'all would be best friends for the next 5 minutes. I loved Time Crisis and House of the Dead. But don't forget Silent Scope. It was awesome. I remember this one motorbike game where you'd sit on a mock motorbike that tilted left and right and vibrated. No VR experience will ever come close to the thrill I felt that day. Spent a fortune playing Metal Slug back then. The early mid 90s were the absolute best era for arcades. Man. Bridging that gap between old school simpler games of the 80s and the increasingly advanced ones going into the later 90s and zeros. There was a real fucking sweet spot where the graphics and animation had gone streets ahead of things like Galaga and Pac Man. But gamma play was still relatively simple. Metal Slug. X Men. Tekken. Street Fighter. Bart's Nightmare. TMNT. Rampage. Revolution X. All of that great shit. So many quarters. And pinball. No matter where you were. Solid classic. 4 player turtles in time. Was probably the highlight of my life. You and 3 friends crowded around the machine. Shouting at each other to do X. Y or Z all while early 90s. But rock played softly underneath the sounds of the rest of the arcade behind you. It really was like stepping out of reality into a world of pure fun. The TMNT machine in my town had a massive crowd around it. Kids were actually cheering the guys on. You put your coin down and waited until you were up. Prayed you wouldn't get Raf cause he sucked. But he had that one special special rolling move that came in handy. 
I usually only had enough for one go. But it was thrilling when the team really meshed and you were part of a big boss battle victory. Moving into the later levels that we hardly ever saw was pants wettingly exciting. Oh man. It was rad. My great uncle was part owner of an arcade slash slot machine spot in town. So as a kid, my cousin and I could just go to the counter and get a cup full of tokens for free and go wild. Played so much Tekken 2, Cruise in USA and Area 51. The Demolition Man pinball machine was great as well. Pretty sure they're not as fun when you don't have the money slash someone in the family running the place though. Oh man. The bowling alley in my town had the biggest and best arcade around. I met so many people there, a lot of which I'm still friends with or at least stay in contact with. There was probably 40 of us all together. We were there nearly every night, battling each other on Super Street Fighter, Samurai Showdown, The Art of Fighting, Fatal Fury, just about any fighting game, racing games, shooting games, side-scrollers like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, X-Men and D&D. God, I probably spent $50,000 in quarters there over the decade that I spent there. We'd get high in the parking lot, or drunk as hell in the bar and hit on girls. Nothing hotter than a cute girls that play video games. Sometimes we'd just stand out front and talk for an hour or so about movies, or whatever. I met the girl of my dreams there, and we are still together. I miss it. Video games now are amazing as far as graphics and such. But nothing beats playing arcade games with friends and unknowns. The camaraderie. The rivalries. The suga talking. It's sad that those times are gone. Loved it. The noise. The lights. The games. I have many fond memories of arcades. Always sucked when you ran out of money though. It was not cheap. It was the best. It was better than online gaming now. The best part emo was the no anonymity part. You knew w how lot I were playing a gay. NST. Your opponent was standing next to you. Oh you. You. No toxicity when you won. One. Just a couple of kids having fun. Fun. Nowadays online gaming is a shitfest of toxic people hiding behind the veil of anonymity and screwing up the fun for others. Z if they were this toxic back in the day they would get a good beating behind the arcade. E. Damn I miss those days. AYS. I remember the crowds around Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat. W Holotiva was next up put their quarter down on the bottom part of the SCR. E. I fucking dominated with Ken on SF2. SF2. My best arcade memory was when I kept beating my friends in a boxing game and then two strangers that were 10 to 15 years older than me. I finally got put down when my hands wore out. Wandering through that forest of machines. It was like you had stepped into a dream. There was always that sense of excitement and wonder when you were at an especially large or new arcade. It was like a casino in that there were very few windows of any. So it was always dark and seemed like the same time of day no matter when you were in there. I also loved how arcade games popped up everywhere. Yeah I'd find them at bars, lobbies, even ski resorts. It was like the whole world was celebrating the existence of games. I miss those days. Our parents would take me and my brother to drop off with $5 worth of quarters for however long. You would just space your time out to not run out of money and hopefully find a group of stranger kids to work together and beat a difficult game. Sometimes it was just you and another kid w ha lot cold potentially destroy a game that you could never complete on your own. Then you would never see that guy slash girl again. Eh. But it felt good when your parents picked you up again and you knew what you did. Did. You and some kid in a smelly orange t-shirt beat golden axe during a pockiness vacation. Ah. Uh. The arcades usually had better hardware than consoles so your gamma play looked better. Was super fun to whip out the old hundred hand slap and watch a ton of kids cry. SF2. MK3 Ultra Edition was the best. I used to input the code for as a door app tour. Green dude looked like Sub-Zero or Scorpion. Just green. People would just have to play him. But he was the worst char. And I would whip their ass with Beraka or whoever else. Then came THR shooting games. There was one that had simulated recoil complete with a plastic slide that moved back and forth as you fired. 
It had simulated reloads too. It was removed about 6 months before parents threw Karen fits and called for its removal. That sissies was the best. Grew up in 80s, but was never able to save more than a buck or so which you could burn through in 4 minutes. Finding a quarter on the ground was a big deal back then. Holy sugar I'm old. Not as much fun as you might generally suppose. Arcade games of that era were technical marvels and games were often far better than anything you could play at home. When games did make it from the arcade into the home. The arcade version invariably the better version by far. That alone sounds pretty sweet. The first problem with the arcade is that it pioneered the macro transaction. Older games could be played essentially indefinitely if you played perfectly. But as time went on. They increasingly included what amount to guaranteed fail points, where you'd have to pump another coin or four into the machine. Odds were good that your game budget was enormously limited. So you'd have to ration your coins on games that you could play for a bit, rather than dumping them into the awesome looking new game that no one got to play for more than a few minutes before the game needed another coin. It's an odd sort of stress trying to ration fun. The second was that arcade games were often adversarial. You might want to play Street Fighter and just see how far you can make it in the single player game. But any random chump could walk up at any moment, slot in a corner, and then proceed to maul you. That's the previous point coming up again. If you were a kid, you were rationing fun. This meant you probably weren't all that good at any particular game. Not everyone in an arcade faced the same challenge. Arcade sharks are a special type of monster. This isn't to say that they weren't fun. The games were awesome and better than anything anyone had at home. And getting curb stomped at least gave you the opportunity to watch a better player play. In the days before the internet, watching better players was the closest thing to a guide you ever got. And arcades were destinations. Which meant that there was often some awesome event surrounding it like a birthday party. We hacked the arcade back in the days with a sticker slash tape to a quarter with a foot long thread. We used to play unlimited games. Those were the days. They were a lot of fun. Especially purpose built facilities that had a large variety of games and attracted larger groups. Without the personal communication devices or the ability to play games anywhere that society has now, it became a meeting point. A place you could shed away the day's ills. 70s and 80s for me, and it was big fun. Get good at pinball. Really good. And you could play all day for just a quarter. There was Asteroids, Space Invaders, Galaga, Pengo, Pac-Man, etc. And if you were up on the boardwalk you had skee-ball and you could shoot pool as well. Plus they were a great place to meet girls or to buy pot, acid, lewds etc. And you could smoke cigarettes without having to go outside. I'm very thankful places like the Silver Bull Museum in Asbury Park. NJ still exist to feed that Jones for some classic pinball I get every now and then. I still remember when my local arcade got Mortal Kombat, the way everyone was piled around, that you would have thought it was a real fighting tournament. Nothing beat in the late 80s slash early 90s catching a movie at the mall then swinging by the arcade and getting some pizza. I'd love to go back just for one night. Very fun. It's really nothing compared to couch gaming, a lying or fighting random strangers. Talking to them and some giving you tips as well as people bragging about their high scores and some hogging machines are memories I will forever cherish. Also very lucky to have experience playing most arcade classics even 80s arcade ones. Because there's a lot of arcades in my area and my family often goes to them as a family pastime. Even got to experience playing some mechanical arcade ones. Please click subscribe if you enjoyed this video.